Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Gordon. I'm a pediatrician in private practice. I've been in private practice and a fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics for over 30 years. I spend my days talking to wonderful parents of wonderful children. We talk about topics involving all aspects of child care, everything from nutrition to behavior to vaccinations. I'd love to spend a little less time talking about vaccinations, but the controversy will not go away. The entire topic has been completely polarized. It's divided into pro-vaccine and anti-vaccine without any understanding that there's lots of middle ground. There's a, a third point of view. I recommend judicious use of vaccines. I think that every parent has a right to participate fully in the discussion of vaccination. Uh, your child may come home from preschool with a second or third virus and it may feel like illnesses are going back and forth. But in fact, exposure to a virus or to a bacterial illness often gives you lifelong immunity. Vaccines act a little bit differently in that they bypass the nose or the throat or the tonsils and they're injected either subcutaneously or intramuscularly and they create an immune response. They create what are known as memory cells. If you get a tetanus shot, your immune system responds with antibodies against tetanus. It is fooled into thinking that you've been exposed to tetanus or measles or whooping cough or polio. And by fooling the immune system in that way, you create memory cells so that the next time that you are exposed, those memory cells act quickly at an antibody level that protects you and you don't get measles because you got the measles shot. The schedule of vaccines is, in my opinion, unscientific and just a little bit ugly. The hepatitis B vaccination given at birth is given for one specific reason. We weren't successful vaccinating high-risk groups. So we began vaccinating all newborn babies with the hepatitis B vaccine in the first two hours of life. It's a public health measure that works without enough thought about the impact on the individual baby. Is it the baby's job or the parent's job to vaccinate and take whatever risk is involved to protect people who won't get vaccinated? There are certain families that have autoimmune issues. There may be lupus running through the, the female side of the family. There may be arthritis or diabetes running through a family. Uh, there may be autism in a family. And if someone says to me, you know, unfortunately, my uh, brother's children have autism and I've got two cousins who uh, appear to be on the autism spectrum, that's a higher risk family. We parents can do some very important things for our children. Firstly, strengthen the immune system naturally with breastfeeding, great nutrition, a good night's sleep, a lot of exercise. Get as much information as you can about vaccinations and all other aspects of medical care for your child. Advocate for individualized care for your child. And find a pediatrician who understands that you will be participating in discussions and choices about vaccinations and all other care for your child. Thank you very much for watching.